Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Kipper Space Program. This is Designs of the Week, I don't know what episode number, but anyway, let's just continue on. So we are going to start off with Mirage Mark 1, and I believe this design is from the game EVE Online. Yes, EVE Online. Now let's launch this thing. It did take me a couple hours to work on this design, and surprisingly, the first time I started flying it, it worked absolutely perfect. Yeah, so just then I actually had a game crash, and it turns out that Fraps and Kibble Space Program don't work well together. Yeah, so I'm trying, I've been looking at a new recording software, haven't really found anything good yet. Um, yeah, but as long as it's not Fraps, because Fraps is so annoying, sometimes it just crashes. Um, yeah, this should lift up by itself, I mean, even I was surprised, I mean, look, it's in the air. It's in the air. It's very, very stable. I don't know how high it can go. Uh, I might want to test it, that out in this episode, but let's just retract the smoggy bays. And I'm going to have caps lock on. We will go... We'll ship for the sky. Alright, there we go. Now, I do have missiles on this thing. Yeah, because on the actual design, it did have missiles. So if I press spacebar, that goes up in the air, and uh, that's smashed. That is still smashing. And the next one, <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. That's going to cause problems, won't it? Alright. Well, that's long gone, isn't it? Still going. Cool. Very happy with that. And you know what? The speed is actually not bad. I mean, I am using the basic jet engines, but, you know, they're doing quite well. Now, I'm expecting them to overheat very soon. Yeah, even further than what they are now. And a couple of things that I need to do on Kipper Space Program is I did promise that I was going to find all the East Eggs, and I will do that. It's just when I do have the time, when I have the time to do it, I will. But right now, like next week, I have so many exams, it's not funny. And I don't really know much about the exams, so I, I need to study a lot. And uh, some a subscriber of mine, he requested me to play some, I think it's called the Timberdine mod. And something's going on here. In this design, right, the, the front is going down. I'm holding down S. Let's see. SAS, can that? That seems like. Yeah, because look how high we are in the altitude now. Oh, let me turn off caps lock. Yeah, this is doomed. I'm holding down S, and it, uh, it's not really doing much. Okay, here we go. I think we're just going to have to do manually control this thing. It's very dangerous controlling it manually, especially at this altitude, because, you know, if you're going 300 meters per second, you know, forward, and then you just make a turn, left or right, then that's total destruction. Okay. How's it going now? Yeah, it looks like we've fallen down quite a bit. I think we were higher than that before, were we? Probably. Yeah, but this won't accelerate any more faster than this. So we're just gonna go ahead, crash it, and uh, we'll continue on with the next design. Oh yeah, might as well screenshot this too. Oh, 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 lot. <laughs> Funny screenshots. Eee. Boom. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. I just get a whole lot of screenshots, and then just pick the best one. Uh, I don't know if that would even make a good screenshot. I don't know. Zoom out a little bit. Get rid of the sun. Whatever. Well, this is doomed. Let's just fast forward. Don't show. Here we go. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it's quite strong for a long aircraft. Now, if we turn on the engines, and as long as we are pointing that way, we should be fine. I'll hold down S. Here we go. It, oh, yeah. Damn it. No. Okay, come on, come on. S, S, lift up. Yes, 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 yes. Very gently. Very gently. No. Oh, 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 hey, hey, hey. We made it. There's an island over there. Can we land? Yeah, we'll go land on it. I am surprised. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect we'd make that. See, guys, I am a very good air airplane pilot. Yes, I am. <laughs> and this is a cool looking design. I really like the way it looks. Very cool. Let's go land. 
the good thing about this this plane is that even if you hold down S, it won't just spaz out. It, it very slowly turns. Um, but yeah, overall it's good. It works fine. And you know the problem with this type of design is that usually, let me explain, the mass is, for this design, the mass is actually right here where my mouse is. And so that does cause a lot of problems because of the thrust and the lift. They don't always work together. Because usually on a design, like this thing here, these jumbo fuel tanks, these fuel tanks here, they push the mass up. And so that sort of is a very problematic when it comes to designing stuff. So I'm going to throttle down here. Okay, and uh, how are we going to do this? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Throw it down about here. This thing can glide. Yes, it can. And I'm looking forward to the next update. I really am. It would definitely allow me to to do a nice having fun episode four. I think it's going to be number four. Yeah, it should be number four. Um. And yeah. <laughs> so small gear bases extend them. And uh, sorry again about my voice, it's just, I think there's something, my throat is like, it's been feeling really weird for the past couple of days. Did we land? Okay. It's just for a moment there, it didn't look like the wheels are touching the ground. It doesn't look like the wheels are touching the ground here at all. Look at that, it looks like, yeah, but it is when you look close up. Well, that was a good landing, and uh, let's go for the next design. Oh yeah, let's check on the fuel too. The fuel. I just checked the fuel. What did I? What did I click? All right, resources, liquid fuel. All right. So the only fuel tank that was used up is the one on the front. I'm just trying to get it. Damn, it's in the way. Ah, oh, here we go. There. So this one, one of these was used up, and the front one at the front. Oh, and the back one too. All right. Well, let's go for the next design. Now this design is the uh, Northrop B2 from memory. And it is a remake. I did make this design once, uh, a long time ago. One of my early stages in Kibble Space program. Um, it wasn't this good. This design here looks pretty good. And here's a tip. Usually when you notice that your aircraft is still on the runway, but it's just like moving side to side a lot, that usually means it can lift up into the air. And as you can see just then, it's this thing just lifted up by itself. I didn't really do anything. And so... It's a little bit weird when it comes to turning because I don't really have any fin, a tail fin at the front here that will help turn left or right. So yeah, that causes problems. And usually when I throttle up, you know, max throttle with this design, it goes all weird because of the wings. Because as you can see, there are a lot of, um, what are they called again? Ah, oh, damn, I keep on forgetting. But anyway, these back parts here, see these wings, the flappy wings? Yeah, they usually cause problems. And this thing, it's very weird, as I said, when it comes to turning. Because look at that. We are just skimming sideways. But I'll, I'll throttle up to help out with that problem. And it's fixed up now. Yep. Cool. Coolio. Yay. And when I was flying, test doing a test flight of this design, it ended up that um, I, I tried to land. It was down there. I crash landed. One of the jet engines, I think it was the left one, smash into the ground but the run on the right was still working and so this thing literally became a like a freaking frisbee and it was turning but it was still moving very very um st in a straight angle so maybe if we can like replicate that we'll, we'll land down there okay let's throttle up point that down okay let's do that yeah yeah okay cool yeah so if we can replicate that <laughs> or maybe we just turn off one of the engines when we get down there. Hmm. It is a solid design. I have struts underneath. Just uh, two struts on each side. I have the liquid fuel duct, the, the fuel duct here, because these engines didn't recognize that there was uh, fuel here. So I had to put a fuel duct to to tell it that. It is shaky right now, but... Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was fast. So let's just... Uh, well, wow, we're getting fast. Alright, so that... Let's go max throttle, and uh, let's try and replicate what I did just by turning up, turning off one of the engines instead of smashing the engine, of course. So let this go. 
And if you're wondering, I have the air intakes right here at the front. And uh, they, I've used these air intakes because they are good. They sort of weighed down the front by a little bit. They weighed down the mass. It helped me out a lot. And here we go. Okay, you ready? Let's hope we can replicate it. Okay. Now, so far, it's still going straight. Right? It's slowing down, but it's going straight. And now it's going down. Still, it's, you know, not bad. Not bad at all. And if I can, like, right click, I won't be able to right click it, will I? Well, good enough. And here she goes. Where is it? <laughs> it's got a smoggy bay. Oh, we can't turn it. Damn it. And uh, for the next update, here's my idea. I know that we're going to have the, the Kerbal seats, right? and uh, have some really cool things I can do with them. And you know the moon base, if you haven't watched the moon base episode, the latest one, I advise you to check it out, and if you're not bothered to watch the whole thing, just skip to the end. That's where the best part is. And it is confirmed that the moon base was damaged by a bug in the game, where the rover wheels all sunk into the ground, and uh, that caused an explosion, so that's terrible. <laughs> but, you know, if even if I do fix up the moon base, it was just way too laggy. I was getting around 7 to 5, 7 to 10 frames per second. So it wasn't good video quality at all, and I, you guys wouldn't have enjoyed watching watching that. So, although the moon base is ended... Where am I zooming into? There's nothing here. What? I thought I just saw the design somewhere. Well, although the moon base is ended, um, yeah, someone told me to do a, was sort of suggested for me to do a sort of a, a sun base. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'm sort of considering making some sort of satellite that will go around the, the sun really close up, you know, as close as possible. Not to the point where we will crash into the sun, but to the point where we just you know, uh, orbiting the sun, and that will be super bright. I don't think anyone has done that yet, so definitely will be a cool looking design. That means I'm going to have to do a lot of docking in space, especially going to the sun. That's going to be a challenge, because getting past Moho, Moho and, and going towards the sun does chew up a lot of fuel, so I'm going to have to do a lot of docking to refuel the the ships and stuff. So that's one thing. Unless I build everything around Kerbin, and then I take it to the sun. That could actually work, although it is very dangerous. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. That is the end of this episode. If you liked, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Let me know. Be honest. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you next time.